Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy scarf or cowl. And if you're not a pom-pom person, that's okay. You can still make this scarf without the pom-poms. So let's get started. This scarf is going to work from one end to the other. And you're going to have a shell on each side and 12 double crochet in the center. I'm working with a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Start with a slip knot. Chain 18. Okay, I have chained 18. Double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. One, two, three. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn, and pull it through. Pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. And I'm going to make another double crochet. And that's all in the same stitch. I'm going to chain one, and that is the equivalent of three double crochet. So I'm going to make three more double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is our first shell. Now I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. So I've yarned around the hook, complete a double crochet. So now I'm going to make 11 more double crochet for a total of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so I have my shell, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 double crochet. And I'm going to make my shell in the last stitch. So skip the next stitch and make a 6 double crochet shell in the next stitch. So 1, 2, 3, chain one and three more. One, two, and three. Okay, so I have one shell on each side, 12 double crochet in the center. And now you'll repeat this next row over and over until the scarf is the length desired. So chain one and turn, slip stitch in the next stitch, and in the next stitch, and then slip stitch in that chain one space. Chain two, one, two. That counts as the first double crochet. So we're going to make two more double crochet. One, two, chain one, three more double crochet. One, two, and three. So you have a six double crochet shell in the chain one space of the previous one. Now you're going to skip the next three stitches of that shell and you're going to double crochet in all of the next 12 stitches. So double crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and 12. So my first shell, 12 double crochet, and now I'm going to make the last shell of the row. So I'm going to come to that chain one space in the center, and I'm going to make another three double crochet shell. So one, two, three, chain one, and then three more in that same space. One, two, and three. And that's how that looks. And now the next row will be exactly the same. You'll chain one and turn, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch in the chain one space, and then just continue on making your shell on each side, 12 double crochet in the center. And so then you're just going to continue to work as many rows as you need for the length that you would like for your scarf. And here's my last row, and I have fastened off. I'm going to thread my yarn end into a needle, and I'm going to weave through this last row of stitches. So then pull that to close it, take a stitch or two, like that, and you do that on both ends. And there's what that will look like. To make a pom-pom, I just took some cereal type box cardboard and I folded it right on the actual fold of the flap. And I cut out a square. And this will be the size that I want my pom-pom to be. So now on the fold, I've just gone ahead with my scissors and I cut two little grooves like that. And I just cut a piece of yarn and that's going to be to tie my pom-pom in the center. So now I'm just going to take my yarn and I'm going to wind it around approximately 100 times. And you'll need approximately 20 yards of yarn to make a pom-pom. So go ahead and wind this around approximately 100 times. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've wrapped my yarn around 100 times. Now I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to go around one more time, and then I'm going to tie this and pull it very tight. Like that, and now I'm just going to cut open my loops. And now I'm just going to tear that cardboard out like that and give it a shake. Now I'm just going to flatten this out like this. And then I'm going to trim it evenly all the way around. And now after you have it rounded off this way, you're going to place it down, just open it up in the center like that, and flatten it down, and do the same thing. Like that. And now you can thread the yarn ends from making your pom-pom into a needle and attach one to each end of the scarf. And after you get that good and secure, then you can just weave your yarn end back and forth into the finished work. And here's the finished scarf. And I've just closed it here with a shawl pin could sew on a large button if you like and I'll put a link below on how to crochet a shawl pin. 
or you could make one with beads and I put a link below on how to make this one or you could make a shiny one by using silver beads and again I'll put the link below for this one and that's it that's how easy it is to crochet this scarf or cowl I hope you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching. Bye for now.